Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic for today is Indices and Logarithms. So today we are going to be looking at common logarithms and also reading these common logarithms from the table, <clears throat> from the logarithm table. So when you look at the powers of 10 and common logarithm, you are going to look a little bit of what we have discussed on indices. So if we look at this value, this is the answer to a certain index. And we say this is, is the same as 10 power 1, power 0. And then this is the same as 10 power 1. This is the same as 10 power 2. And this is the same as 10 power 3. So if we convert these values into logarithm notation, we said the first value is going to be the log of 1 to the base of 10 is equals to 0. Because we said the base is the same, which is 10, the answer is 1, the index is 0, and the index is always the answer. So the next one is going to be the log of 10 of uh, 10 to the base of 10 is equals to 1 and the log of 100 to the base of 10 is equals to 2 and the log of 1000 to the base of 10 is equals to 3. You can check out how we were able to convert the index and the index values into logarithm notation in the previous lesson. So when we have a logarithm under the base of 10 is what we refer to as the common logarithm. So this logarithm that had on under the base of 10, of the base of 10, this is what we refer as common logarithm. An example of a common logarithm is a logarithm of 100 to the base of 10, which gives us two as you saw from our values. So logarithm of numbers to the base of 10 are usually listed in the logarithm table. So when you go to your mathematical tables, you're going to see they have tables for logarithm. And these values are greater than 1 and less than 10, as we noticed with the reciprocal tables as well. So the idea is the same as we were using with the reciprocal calculations. So let's do a few examples so that we can see how we read these logarithm tables. So something to note is when it comes to the logarithm table, this section represents add, unlike where we were using in the reciprocal table, subtract. So take note of that, even as we use the same uh, format. So we will start with numbers between 1 and 10, and then we are going to work, it out, work out different values. Examples is 2.56. You can say 2.56 is between 1, is greater than 1, but less than 10. So the first thing we look at our question is possible for us to read this value in the table. That's the first thing. So you go to where 2.5 is in our table, as you can see. So 2.5 is here. And then we go to the section, the inner section, the de second decimal place where 6 is. So 6 is here. So it becomes 0 0.4082. We look at another value, 2.71. You can see now this has more than two decimal places. So we go where 2.7 is, 1. So this gives us 0 0.4330. And then we go to the next column or section with 8, the third decimal place. We go up to where 8 is along the same row. We get 13. So this is 0 0.0013 and it's addition. 
So this becomes 3, 4, 3, 4, 0. So it becomes 0 0.4343. 4, Let's go to the numbers greater than 10 now. The numbers greater than 10, we said the key thing we looked at in the previous lesson is converting our numbers into standard form. And since this is a very large number, we cannot check this directly from the table. We convert it into standard form. So 2.28.5, if you convert it, you move the decimal place once to form 2.85 times 10 power 1. So let's keep that in mind. So when we look for the log, log of 2.85, we go where 2.8 is and the th second decimal place is 5. We move along to where 5 is, gives us 45.48. So this is 0 0.4548. And then when we look at the log of 10, As you can see, and you can see the index, and remember this is the base of 10, it gives us 1. So this is the answer 1. So the log of 2.85 is 0 0.4548, but the log of 10, the base of 10 is 1. So we add this directly to 1. So because these are index values, this is the same as 10 power 2.8 by uh, 0 0.4548 times 10 power 1. So it means because they're in the same base of 10, you need to add the powers. So this becomes 1.4548, which is going to be your answer. Let's look at another one. So the first thing we change it to standard form. So we did so by moving to the left. So 1, 2, 3. So this becomes 1.025 times 10 power 3. So we look at the logarithm of 1.025 in the table. We go to 1.0 here and then 2, which gives us 0 0.0086. And then 5 in the last uh, section which gives us 0 0.0021. So if you add this, we get this is what we get 0 0.0107. But let us not forget we have 10 power 3, and we say this is the same as 10 power 0 0.1017 times 10 power 3. So the powers need to be added because they're in the same base. So this is the same as 3.0107, which forms our answer. Let's do another question. So we will go to other values uh, like 273. So we change this into standard form, as we said. So we move the decimal place, the negative side, 1, 2, to give us 2. 0.737 times 10 power 2 because we move twice. So 2.7, we come to where 2.7 is, and then uh, 3. So we go to 3, which gives us 0 0.4362, and then we move across to the 7 value 7, which is 11. So 0 0.0011. So it's 3, 7, 3, 4, 0. So this is the same as 10 power 0 0.4373 times 10 power 2. So the bases are the same. So we add the powers, which gives us 2.4373. 2 and finally, the last question, uh, and we move the decimal. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it becomes 3.91 times 10 power 6. So if you look at the log logarithm of 3.9, we go to 3.9 and then 1, which gives us 0 0.3. 
0.59222. So this is the same as 10 power 0 0.59222 times 10 power 6. Since, since the base is the same, we put them together, which gives us 6.5922. So I hope you have been able to understand how to calculate the value, the, to get the logarithm values of numbers bel uh, in between 1 and 10 and also numbers above 10. So in the next lesson, we are going to be looking at numbers that are less less than 10 so get more revision questions on this top on this subtopic we have just learned and the notes are the same in the app so see you in the next lesson